What up investors, what up traders, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and we're going to be looking at a particular more of a technology and then we're looking at a company. Um, the company we're looking at today is Regeneron uh, Pharmaceuticals. Um, it's a pharmaceutical company. It's R-E-G-N and uh, they are on the cusp of creating a three-prong attack uh, to battle this uh, COVID-19 uh, treatment quickly. Um, so again, there is no working uh, vaccine or anything that's able just to knock out uh, COVID-19 as of right now, but the uh, Regeneron is saying they're doing a three-prong uh, approach. First, they're taking existing drugs that are on the market um, and trying to see if that can battle against some of the symptoms of maybe kind of helping the immune system build up to kind of stopping some of the more lethal uh, parts of the virus getting into certain systems of the body and maybe just helping someone live longer and able to stay healthy longer to wait for a vaccine down the road. Um, and the second is giving people a human and antibody that can fight uh, off the infection until a vaccine is coming. So this is this is what we're talking about in the sense of uh, creating a vaccine or I mean sorry a treatment of using because uh, they're testing mice. So there's a lot of uh, companies use mice to do a lot of testing. Um, so they take some of the antibodies that the mice have contributed and then uses some of the antibodies that survivors had and basically making a cocktail. Um, and that's uh, basically the the way they're looking at it in the sense of just kind of making, trying to find things that work. And again, the first and second approach are just trying to kind of hold off things. But the third approach, of course, is getting the full on vaccine with these antibodies to everyone as quickly as possible, of course. Um, again, there. so if you don't know much too much about it, Regeneron, Regeneron was uh, one of the lead uh, pharmaceutical companies to kind of help and create the drugs for Ebola. Um, so they're very well versed um, on the sense of what they can do. Um, and it's, it's quite fantastic how fast people are able to move to this. Um, <clears throat> super super interesting um, we're gonna be looking here at the chart here in a second I know this is a lot of this medical stuff is really difficult to follow and things like that but that's something that uh, is just really key important on trying to get the understanding of what's going on here and basically just trying to take care of the situation as quick as possible um, without allowing basically too much to to happen and there's another great article here that I read um, basically going over the same things. Um, but they're saying that this is known as the SARS-CoV-2. This is the, the particular protein or the antibody that lives, as targets the, the virus outer shell. Um, so if you haven't seen the way the virus shell looks like, it basically looks like this. So this is, oh, get out of here, Fox. This is how the virus, the oh, my, no, I don't want to see that. I'll, I'll just put a picture up here now and you can see it. So basically what it's doing is taking the, uh, the this particular uh, antibodies to attack the outer shell of the virus and just basically kill the proteins and basically make it just dis make it disappear and just basically like, like nothing ever happened. This is what basically what a vaccine does. Um, um, they say that so uh, Regina said in a press release that its scientists have isolated hundreds of virus uh, antibodies within its mice. So more patients who have recovered from COVID-19, they can make that a better study. So this is what we're talking about, making the cocktail of just using the different parts that we know have fought and created the antibodies to fight the outer shell, to kill the proteins within the virus. This basically uh, would be the best way to do so, they say. Um, again, I have no idea anything about medical testing and vaccines. I just know they're important. So make sure you get vaccinated. Um, they're saying so they, they can start doing summer testing. So 
let's go ahead and look at the stock. The stock is not a cheap stock. It is a $491 stock right now. And of course it is uh, rallying higher in the after hours. It's 5.11 to 5.17. Um, it has, again, this is in the main headlines with every other stock that most people own are well below the 200 day moving average. Um, and this one has just been flying high, basically making all time highs as of just today. Um, actually, not to take that back. As we go to the monthly, we're gonna go do a quick little analysis here. Do here. So this is, I just did the Fibonacci retracements. So anything below like 437, I kinda wanna make sure that you're uh, uh, getting out here, Sean. But uh, some key levels here is gonna be the 532 level. So we're gonna put a alert there at or above yep and then yeah so 605 is the all-time high um, I don't own any of this stock uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to but this is just something that I'm looking at on my radar um, just to kind of see and track the overall uh, process of everything because this thing has been trading uh, so this whole spike up right here I think is due to uh, due to the Ebola stuff and it kind of came off so this is this company is does very well when they're needed it can of course they do make great drugs for the antibodies and the, what they're doing the scientists but this is going to be hard to kind of jump in in front of it now because I feel like all the good news is already out and all the people easy money was already made in this um, but that being said, could this potentially go higher? Of course, they can definitely go higher, can definitely go lower, but you, you look anywhere doing research and looking all over the internet, everyone's saying like Regeneron, 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 Regeneron is the company uh, that will help uh, push the envelope forward to creating this, uh, this vaccine to beat this uh, terrible uh, COVID-19 uh, in the long run. And, and it feels it feels pretty fantastic that we have so many humans out there that are actually doing um, this kind of work and just continually pushing the envelope on just trying to make life better for so many other people. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of highlight the company to kind of see that, uh, to give them some understanding of what they're doing. Um, if you own the stock, I am super happy for you. Do you jump in front of it? I don't know, because it looks like you're gonna have some little headwinds at like, at 532 here and then again the all-time high was 603 like if you want to sell some uh, put uh, credits uh, spreads you can definitely try and do that again it's a very highly priced stock um, it's very difficult for me to trade a uh, really small size in this stock for the amount of my in my portfolio um, it's just gonna eat up a lot of buying power and so forth but this is a super interesting stock uh, I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on it add it to your guys's uh, a watch list to kind of see what's happening and it kind of gives you uh, a gauge of how close they are to particular having a proper release uh, for the drug um, and we'll, we'll just go from there all right guys thank you so much for watching this is ken from the dyslexia investor and i'll catch you guys on the flip side peace